Hey, you struggle to find a girlfriend and you are scared to approach woman? Don't worry. You are here to improve. What you're about to learn now has the potential to change everything you know about girls in the real world. If you pay attention, you can get them on your feet. Surely, once you've finished watching this video, you will have more success with females and more chance to attract them. So pay attention and listen carefully till the end what I'm going to tell you. Today, the society have all sorts of systems that increase the lifespan of the average male. On the other hand, in ancient times, these systems simply didn't exist. And during this time, there weren't luxury cars to show off or fancy houses to hide in it, and nature was free to allow only the strongest man to survive. For example, if a man was excessively overweight and weak, he would most likely be easily tackled and eaten by any large predator, like a lion or a tiger. In today's world, we have endless comforts and safe environment that allow even the weakest and laziest to survive. But in truth, there is no escaping from the nature plan, because the behave instinct is coded and programmed into our DNA and brains from birth. Man and women are programmed to look for traits within a mate that will ensure their survival and safety. Attraction takes place on a deep subconscious level, which means neither I, you, or anyone else can accurately tell you exactly what we're attracted to. You want to be attractive? Of course you want... Uh, so listen carefully. Attraction is actually a human impulse, exactly like hunger or thirst that just happens in the subconscious. This is where things get interesting for you, since attraction is an impulse that we have no control over. It is incredibly easy to trigger on demand. But before a guy or girl can become instantly attractive for the opposite sex, there is another important evolutionary secret that must be understood. And it's that from an evolutionary standpoint. Listen carefully. Men are attracted to physical appearance and girls are attracted to strength, behavior and charisma. In other words, to trigger attraction within most girls and to push the pre-programmed buttons in their head, all that a guy needs to do is control his behavior in a few simple ways. Due to the lack of a good physique or traits, guys who are unattractive are already fighting an uphill battle. So when they break all of the evolutionary rules for attraction, it becomes a competition that is almost impossible to win. But don't worry if you are beyond them. By altering your behavior, you can create your own advantage and level the battlefield, not just when it comes to competing for mates, but for almost every situation in life. Listen, the main trait that will trigger the evolutionary default settings for most girls is confidence. Girl love to see a confident man, determination, and no hesitation. Self-confidence is everything. But what is confidence? Confidence is the ability to look certain and stoic when handling uncertainty. An ideal man in the eyes of any girl is a man who is confident, dominant, courageous, and optimistic. The most important thing to remember here is that a confident person is someone who appears to be certain and not scared or unsecure. In other words, confidence is how a man behaves with other people or the environment. That determines if people view him as confident or a pathetic, unsecure man. Throughout school, you've probably seen many guys who lack any real skills, but somehow, some way, some girls find them attractive just because they appear to be confident in any situation. It's like while you play in poker, you don't know if the other player's hand can actually beat what you have. But you have to bluff to look sure and confident. In fact, if someone succeeds in bluffing well enough to make you think that he can beat you, then he has an excellent chance of actually beating you and bring you to mistake. Whether you want to believe it or not, the same is true and valid for the real life. And as we've all seen before, oftentimes, it is the loudest and most obnoxious person who wins the fight, and not the person who truly has the skills to back up what they're saying. To be successful with women, you have to appear to be confident. The most important part of being confident is appearing to be certain and not scared. Even if inside you're scared out of your mind and have no idea what you're going to do then, it's about to act like an actor. If something happens around you suddenly, don't scream like a baby in tears. Try to remain calm and focused to analyze the situation and do the right moves. You will be seen as a confident man. Guess why sometimes a girl chooses to leave you and break a relationship? It happens when she smells in you uncertain behaviors. That's the sad truth. All too often, especially guys in a relationship, get too comfortable and start expressing uncertainty and full of doubts. Since this is typically a feminine trait, girls find it very unattractive when males express uncertainty about anything. 
especially about meaningless things. Don't forget that confidence includes also your body language, such as your facial expressions and voice tonality, and naturally the actual words that you speak. Another key part to be confident is dominance. From an evolutionary point of view, guys are seen as dominant and girls are viewed as submissive. Modern society tries to break that rule, saying the opposite, but it's not true because girls continue to be attracted by strong, dominant men and not from males that act feminine and weak. Girls are programmed to smell weakness and run away from it. So if you want to get a woman, stop to act and think as a weak and lazy man and you will change the game. Dominance can be determined in relation to other people. The guy who seems the surest of himself around others is viewed as the dominant male. If you want to be attractive to most girls, then all that you have to do is be the most dominant in the room. Don't misunderstand, you don't have to look fool or violent. You need to be under control and not afraid about who is surrounding you or about what happens. Don't laugh without any valid reason. Don't speak if it's not needed. Don't yell and don't act like a clown. It will show that you are weak and scared. Instead is a way better to stay mysterious, calm and reserved. Girls are also attracted by mysterious man. It's an interesting matter and we will talk about it in another video. According to the rules of nature, girls are submissive and guys are dominant. It's written in the DNA. Girls subconsciously find dominant guys attractive and guys are subconsciously more attracted to submissive feminine girls. Everything that we wear and use as humans, from clothes to jewelry and even the cars that we drive, are designed to be either more masculine or more feminine. This is why, for example, a lady will find more attractive a man that dresses a male and use and wear clothes designed to increase the masculinity. Listen. Why do you think girls always take selfies while holding the camera up and above them? They do this because it causes them to have to look up, which makes them appear small and submissive in the picture. On the other hand, guys who take many pictures choose the one that makes them look strongest or manliest. The subconscious tells you that you have to do it to look more attractive to girls. Every man from birth is designed by the nature to be confident, curious and dominant. And as a result of that, men are impulsively attracted to girls who appear to be weak and submissive and vice versa. Girls don't do these things consciously, they simply do them because it feels right. You can easily get it if you think at your pastime in school, ladies were always attracted by the most dominant guy, by the most sportive or even from the bad bully, and unfortunately on the other, and they didn't find attractive the typical nerd good guy that act very kind and shy. At the moment of birth, we are programmed to behave in that way, but growing up, we're influenced by other people and wrong propaganda coming from a modern and lazy society. Our parents, the school environment and experiences shape us into who we are now. But don't worry, you can work to get back your natural masculine trait to attract ladies. In conclusion, from an evolutionary standpoint, girls are impulsively attracted to guys who appear to be confident, dominant and masculine. If you want to attract girls, you really need to boost your confidence and dominance. It's in fact the secret to success in everything. But how to obtain it? The key to gaining the true confidence in yourself is to work hard on yourself, to improve you behave, your body, your status, and be the better version of yourself. It's not easy and need a lot of sacrifice, but I promise you that's worthy and will change your life. Probably you weren't expecting that as an answer, but you need to know that as a man, you gain confidence doing progress in many areas of your life, especially where you're lacking. Right now, your biggest insecurity might be your lack of money or financial resources. For another guy, it might be his lack of his body because he is overweight and not fit. All guys that struggle to find a partner are missing something and need to improve they self. And trust me, during that process of change, you will literally change your destiny and become more attractive. Of course, the money and a fit body will increase your attractiveness for females, but at the core, it is the confidence gained from progress towards improving yourself that will make all of the difference.